all in the name of science. A team of scientists has recloned the world's first dog clone in a bid to find out if the process has an impact on a clone's health or lifespan. Dog clone Snuppy was created in 2005 using a stem cell from an Afghan hound and born via a surrogate Labrador mother. The original dog, named Ty, died from cancer when he was 12 years old. Snuppy would later live to age 10 before also succumbing to cancer, though not the same kind. When Snuppy was 5 years old, researchers collected his stem cells while also taking eggs from female dogs and taking out their nuclei. Using a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, nuclei from stem cells were transferred into the empty eggs, then stimulated into dividing, creating over 94 embryos. The embryos were implanted into surrogates, resulting in the birth of four live reclones. Though one died from diarrhea days after birth, the remaining three are now nine months old and still healthy. Researchers say they will closely monitor the puppies and measure virtually all aspects of their lives, including growth, metabolism, immune system, and disease development. Stay tuned! So fluffy! Golden Retriever Puppy Gets Braces, Becomes Internet Heartthrob Little Wesley has been cute since he was a newborn pup, but as he grew older, his owner Molly Moore noticed he wasn't playing with his toys as much and was losing weight when he should have been growing. Luckily for Wesley, Molly's dad, Dr. Jim Moore, is a veterinarian specializing in doggy dentistry. Dr. Moore's diagnosis, a condition called malocclusion, a misalignment of the upper and lower teeth. The solution? Braces, just like any human kid with an overbite. But judging by the nearly 300,000 shares his pictures are racking up on Facebook, seems the internet thinks the braces look is way cuter on Wesley than your typical pimply-faced American tween. Don't count on the canine metal mouth becoming a fashion trend, though. Dr. Moore says the braces are only applied for practical reasons and not aesthetics. Wesley will only have to rock those train tracks for a few more weeks to correct the issue. And after that, he'll probably be starring in some doggy toothpaste commercial. What a world we live in, huh? Man reunited with dog who ran the Gobi Desert with him. In a story that could have ended in tragedy, it was nothing short of a miracle that an Australian marathoner managed to reunite with his dog in a city of over 3 million. Dion Leonard was running a marathon in the Gobi Desert last March when a little brown pup sidled up to him. For the entire 250-kilometer run across difficult terrain, the dog kept up with him and never left. Leonard called the pup Gobi and decided he would bring her home to Scotland with him. He had to leave China after the race and left Gobi with a friend while he began the long and expensive process of taking his beloved dog home. But while waiting to be transferred to Beijing for the quarantine process, Gobi suddenly went missing. Leonard flew in from Edinburgh and tirelessly looked for his precious brown pup, but after numerous close calls and several disappointments, she had yet to turn up. With hope and time running out, Leonard was already preparing himself for a heartbreaking loss when a phone call came in. A man who'd seen the posters of Gobi said he and his son found a dog with her exact description at a local park. Leonard wasn't too hopeful, but when he got to the man's house, a familiar brown dog ran out and began jumping on him. It was a blissful reunion. And this time around, Leonard's making sure he won't lose her again. Vermont police dog gets a deserved break from sniffing out drugs and corpses. It's nice to see a police dog having some fun, no? Canine or military dogs are, depending on your point of view, noble animals helping to save human lives, or unwitting stooges of the man, who happily sniff out your stash without the foggiest idea they're ruining your day or maybe life. But even cat supremacists are likely glad we have these loyal pooches to help sniff out bombs and help raid suspected terrorist sites. They even keep soldiers company on skydives. It's just a bummer they're also so good at sniffing out your container load of smuggled cigarettes. And of course, when the cop says, sir, we're bringing in a canine unit, <laughs> you know you're pretty much busted, dude. So we're pleased to see this car wash loving canine half of this canine unit enjoying some off-duty doggy fun. 
K-9 officer Max is part of the Vermont State Police, and he's getting a bit of fame for his adorable antics during a squad car wash. But what's your take on canines? Adorable or no, do you think dogs should be used as cops?